So it's the big one tomorrow as Arsenal face Manchester City at the Emirates. Come and join me for a look back at the history of this fixture and let's see how it's going to play out tomorrow. This will be the 210th meeting between the clubs. Arsenal have won 99 of the previous 209. City have won 65 and there have been 45 draws. The first meeting was back in November 1893 when Woolwich Arsenal beat Ardwick 1-0 at the Manor Ground in Division 2. The first meeting as Arsenal versus Manchester City was not until January 1920 when the sides drew 2-2 at Highbury. This does not make good reading for Arsenal. They've lost all of the last 12 league meetings against City that since a 2-2 draw at the Emirates in 2017. In fact, the last league win for Arsenal over Manchester City was back in December 2015, which was a 2-1 victory at the Emirates. And this has been their only league victory over City in the last 16 meetings, and they've lost the last seven at home. Despite only losing one of the last 12 meetings at the Emirates, City actually went 28 visits to Arsenal without a victory between October 1975 and November 2011, losing 20 of those matches. However, with nine victories at the Emirates, City have won on this ground more times than any other visiting club. <laughs> Current Arsenal manager Mikel Arteta scored a memorable winning goal against Manchester City in April 2011. While who can forget that double penalty kick from Robert Pires in 2005, another game which Arsenal won 1-0. But the most memorable meeting of all, for me at least, occurred almost exactly 42 years ago on the 17th of October 1981. That was my first ever Arsenal match at Highbury and Arsenal won 1-0 with a second half goal from Raphael Mead on his league debut. Cheers, Raph. There have been over 20 players that have played for both Arsenal and Manchester City over the years, including such famous names as Nicholas Anelka, Andy Cole, Brian Kidd, David Rocastle and Patrick Vieira. Only three players have made more than 100 appearances for both clubs, Gail Clichy, Sami Nasri and Colo Torre. In fact, Clichy holds the distinction of making more than 200 appearances for both clubs. However, the most appearances for Arsenal and Manchester City combined belongs to David Seaman with 590, 564 of which were for Arsenal. In terms of goals, Gabriel Jesus has the most with 95 for City and 14 so far for Arsenal, while Niall Quinn is second on the list with 76 for City after scoring 20 times for Arsenal. The aforementioned Samir Nasri actually scored 27 goals for both clubs, while David Bakuzi is the outfield player who has made the most combined appearances without scoring at all, 105. <laughs> Despite the teams currently sitting second and third in the Premier League table with only two points separating them, neither come into this match in great form. City have lost two of their last three matches in all competitions, while Arsenal were, of course, beaten in the Champions League in midweek. But should Arsenal win tomorrow, it will see City lose consecutive Premier League matches for the first time since December 2018. <laughs> This is a tricky one to call. City are not the same side without Wadbury, who is serving the last of his three-match ban, while Arsenal have a serious doubt over the fitness of Bakayo Saka, who hasn't missed a Premier League match for the club since 2021. Of course, a victory by two or more goals would send Arsenal to the top of the table, but they haven't beaten City by a margin of more than one goal at home since April 2009. And City remain the only club Mikel Arteta has never beaten as manager of Arsenal, losing all seven previous league matches. I do think that run will end tomorrow, but I don't think it's going to be a victory for Arsenal. My prediction is a Desmond 2-2. Let me know yours in the comments below. My name is Richard and this has been Arsenal versus Manchester City match preview. Please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you soon, guys. Take it easy. Thanks for watching.